Hi, Kirsten here. I thought I'd like to share a few more thoughts with you. I shared a video with you last few days ago that I was going to transition from being a psychologist, a psychotherapist for 25 years and now expanding into coaching, into life coaching. And I've decided I want to share my process with you a little bit uh, and the learning, the reflections, maybe the mistakes and insights and and uh, ideas that I gather along the way that might be helpful to share. Because transitions, expansions, changes are, they are personal, but they are also universal. So I think the themes, the anxieties, the feelings, the obstacles that we meet along the way, they're universal. And I'd like to share mine with you and add my thoughts and my reflections to it. So today I would like to share with you a few anxieties that I've experienced along the way and how I kind of think about these anxieties. Um, one of these anxieties was, or basically after I'd posted the video a few days ago, I experienced some real discomfort and anxiety within me. And as I was sitting with them, I tried to identify what they are about. And I think they were in part about kind of almost being public, sort of coming out as it were, you know, but coming out and and making my journey public, which which goes hand in hand with a certain vulnerability. And that's I think important. It is the vulnerability, I think, and the anxiety to be judged, to be disapproved of, to be misunderstood. And I was thinking actually especially about my colleagues in my in the field of psychology and psychotherapy. What might they think about me? Uh, but equally, maybe in the field of coaching, what might what does the psychologist think? She can come here into our into our territory. You know, it's in a way I'm venturing from one territory into another. And so these were my anxieties. They might be of course just in my mind, but it might they might also be outside. I think the reality is that that when we make show ourselves more publicly, there will be uh, approval and and cheering, and people will really enjoy our journey and support it. And there will also be others who might disapprove and who might envy us, or who might really frown upon uh, our movements here in life. And I was thinking in relation to that, I was thinking, yes, these anxieties as we transition and make ourselves more public are natural. I think whenever we expand and grow and venture into new territory, that is accompanied most often by anxiety. And because we step into the unknown. And, and I think I would call this a kind of a creative anxiety. It's uh, not crippling, but it's something we can think about. And I was, I, when I feel anxious in this way, I say to my anxieties, hey, uh, old friends, yes, you are here again. And it is a bit scary as we venture into this new territory and we go there together. And I'm, that, that, that allowed me to almost sort of comfort these anxieties. And then the other thing about being judged um, or being approved of or disapproved of, I then reflected on that the only place where my self-worth can be defined with any substance is within me. Only I or only you get to define your worth. And I know my ethical, professional, inner values are very strong. You know, I've evolved them over 20, 25 years and I hold inside me a sound, substantial set of values that I bring to my profession as a psychotherapist, as a psychologist, as a coach, but also as a person in life. I believe in mutual respect, I believe in integrity, I believe in honesty and openness, I believe in 
self-development, looking at myself, owning my own stuff, but I also enjoy accompanying uh, others on their journey of unfolding and maximizing their potential. So yes, the first learning for me was, of course, our old friends' anxieties will be with us. And second, yes, some people will approve, some won't, but only I, only you, get to define your worth. And I think these are the two sort of uh, insights I've kind of developed and that I wanted to share with you. Let me know what you think. I'd be really interested to hear. And I'll meet you again very soon.